Hello and welcome to Hump Day Bar Hopping with Stylic One. I'm your host, Sarah Fletcher, and today we're going to be covering so close, so close. And why that's important is because it's going to show you the problem children, the products that are almost there. You start with your best sellers, that's where you're going to put your, your effort in. But what about the ones that are almost? Like they're so close, right? They're so close. What about them? How do you know what they are? Can you even tell what a customer looked at or or liked? And and you probably can. Like, let's be honest, you probably can get some analytics that'll show you clicks, but you can't really tell what they really considered. Like, what were they really close to buying, but just it just didn't make it over the line. And that's what we're gonna look at today. So Okay, so here we are over at the Stylic One demo site and I'm just going to give you a super super quick demo of Styliquin so what I'm talking about actually makes sense. So Styliquin is the green bar over here and by the way you can add Styliquin in about four clicks to any Shopify site and uh, you can change the color of the bar to match your website. You can completely brand it. We're going to go over to women's and then we're going to drag a product onto the Styliquin bar. What? And that's where you get this fabulous full page layout and it just it you don't have to do anything this happens automatically it's going to take all the images in your Shopify carousel and it's going to turn it into this beautiful beautiful layout so if you like something you're going to add it to your idea board and these are all the things that I just threw on there so you wouldn't have to watch me do a whole bunch of shopping and Styliquin allows shoppers to collect all the things that interested them like they're not ready to buy but they're like, yeah, that's cool. I like it. You know, if you've ever watched a woman shop, she has 17 open tabs. And and by the way, the comment I get from most men is I would totally shop that way. But I invented it for women. Anyway, so if you want to add something to your cart, you just drop it into your cart from Stylic One. If you want to take it out of your cart, you take it out of the cart. You can move things around. You can change colors. You can change sizes. It, it gives you total control over. It's like a pre-cart. You know, it's a per persistent pre-cart. Stylic One makes shopping faster and more fun. So shoppers will look at about 185% more products when they use Stylic One, and uh, they'll spend about 70% more time on site. Great stats, right? So anyway, let's look at the insights panel now that you know what Stylic One does. And over here, we have So Close. So the So Close piece are the things that are frequently considered but not added to the cart. So they're all the things that are on that, that board. That's here. That's, they're all the things that are on this styling board. They liked them, thought they were cool, cool enough to save and consider, but they didn't actually buy them. So Styling Queen gives you the top 10. You can click here and it'll give you all of them. But these are the products that need some rework. Customers are engaging with them. And by the way, all of this you don't have to remember because I, I wrote it out for you. So customers are engaging with them and collecting them but they're not putting them in their cart. You can look at these and say, is the price a good fit for the value? Is it too expensive? Is it you know, too cheap? Like, are they going, yeah, I don't, I don't think that's real. Is it similar to another product that is in your bestseller list that's getting a lot, of, a lot of attention? So it's a good product, it's just you've got a better product. Does a product need to be differentiated? Is the copy unclear? And this one, online salespeople forget how important copy is. They're like, it doesn't matter. They just look at the pictures. And they do. They look at the pictures right up until the point that they actually want to make a decision about the purchase. And then the copy becomes so vital to that. Is it that it says something that isn't clear? Is it that uh, you haven't described what it is? You don't have the sizes in. You don't have what it's like. Does the photography display the product well? I started out as a catalog designer. I worked for big companies like L.L. Bean uh, is the one everyone knows. And it's not infrequent that we would see a product we thought, gosh, that really should be doing better. But it's not. And when we ask why it's not doing better, it turns out that, you know, it's a crappy photograph. Does it have poor customer ratings? The beauty and the curse of ratings. So again, what's exciting about this is Stylic One lets you see the middle of the shopping experience. Like, you know, when they come in and you know whether they buy or don't buy, but people don't really look at the analytics of data in the middle. And it's in the middle that you're really going to find all the gems and the important stuff about products. Stylic One is the only 
one that I know of, that you get to see intention. If you don't have Styliquin and they get the 17 tabs up, I'm really not sure how you would parse that data into something meaningful, right? They looked at it and then didn't buy it, didn't put it in their cart, didn't do anything. With Styliquin, you can say, oh, they really liked it and they just didn't buy it. The other thing you can do with Styliquin is because it's a persistent cart, it's going to be there the next time they come back as long as their cookie is active. So we see that Styliquin shoppers come back about 25% more often and they buy about 28% more often. So that's, that's some big numbers. You know, that really adds up. So thank you for joining me. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Next week, we're going to be talking about abandoned. Wah, wah. <laughs>